Hey everyone, Alex here, welcome back to Smart Reviews. I've been living with One UI 8.5 for over a week now, testing it across the Galaxy S25 Ultra and the Z Fold 6. And trust me, this version is quietly one of Samsung's biggest steps forward in years. Let's dive right in. The first thing you'll notice is how alive everything feels. Animations glide like butter, transitions are snappier, and that subtle haptic feedback. Perfectly tuned, it's not flashy, it's confident. The system feels optimized in a way that's almost pixel-like, and that's saying something. Now, let's talk design. Samsung has refined its visual language even more. The notification shade and quick toggles now have a cleaner, flatter look that feels closer to Android's material U, but still distinctively Samsung. Icons have slightly softer shadows, widgets blend better with wallpapers, and dark mode now adapts its contrast dynamically, so it never looks washed out or too harsh. The lock screen customization has also leveled up. You can now move widgets, resize the clock, and even create dynamic effects that change based on time of day or your wallpaper tone. It feels very iOS 17 inspired, but with Samsung's flair for control and detail. Now, onto something I really love, Samsung AI 2.0. One UI 8.5 deeply integrates Galaxy AI features without making them feel forced. Live translate during calls feels faster and supports more regional languages. The note assist and transcript summaries in Samsung Notes have improved too. They're more accurate and context aware now. And the new Smart Suggestions 2.0. It actually feels useful. It can now predict your next move, like offering to open maps when you start your car or suggesting your preferred playlist when you connect your earbuds. Small touches, but they make the phone feel alive, like it's adapting to your habits rather than just showing off AI. For multitaskers, pop-up view and split screen are smoother and smarter. You can now save specific app layouts, say YouTube and notes side by side, and relaunch them instantly from the taskbar. On foldables like the Z Fold 6, this feels revolutionary. Samsung also added gesture shortcuts that make switching between multitasking modes more fluid than ever. Performance-wise, it's clear Samsung did some deep optimization. Apps open faster, and RAM management is tighter, especially on older models like the S23 Ultra. And when paired with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, this thing flies. There's almost zero lag, even with multiple heavy apps running in the background. Battery efficiency also got a subtle upgrade. One UI 8.5 uses adaptive power profiling, meaning it learns which apps you use the most and optimizes background refresh rates accordingly. After a few days, I was easily getting an extra hour of screen time on the same usage pattern compared to One UI 8. Now, something Samsung rarely gets credit for, privacy and security. There's a new privacy dashboard redesign that clearly shows which apps access your data in real time. It even alerts you when clipboard data is being used repeatedly. A great touch for those who value transparency. The camera app got a quiet but powerful overhaul too. The UI is cleaner, pro mode is more responsive, and there's now a new smart lens detection feature which recognizes objects and instantly opens contextual options like translation, search, or shopping. It's Samsung's take on Google Lens, and it's surprisingly accurate. And yes, good luck users, 8.5 plays even nicer with modules now. There's less crashing, smoother transitions, and a few new customization tools like Lockstarf and Navstar updates that give you deeper control of navigation bars, icons, and themes. But not everything's perfect. Some regions still don't get all Galaxy AI features due to language limitations, and a few animations, especially in multitasking mode, can still stutter on medrange devices. But for a beta build, it's impressively stable. After a full week, here's my honest take One UI 8.5 isn't a revolution. It's evolution done right. It's about Samsung getting the details perfect. Tighter animations, smarter AI, better multitasking, and a cleaner, more connected design language. It's mature, fast, and confidently Samsung. If you're a Galaxy user, this is the update to look forward to. And if you've ever felt like Samsung's software was bloated or heavy, this version might just change your mind. That's it for today's review. If you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to Smart Reviews, and ring that bell so you don't miss my deep dive on One UI 9 coming soon. I'm Alex, and I'll see you in the next one.